So one of the critical items in your, in your engine management system is the mass airflow sensor. And you may say, why is it so critical? Well, the engine needs three things to run. It needs air, it needs spark, and it needs compression. It needs to compress, compress the air. Well, let's talk about how does it know how much air is coming into the motor? Well, it's got a mass airflow sensor. It doesn't have a barn door meter. It has a mass airflow sensor. So we've taken out the screws already. They're tamper-proof screws. So you need a special socket to get those out. But what they want you to do is they don't want you to mess with this. And let me explain how this works. Inside the mass airflow sensor is a film. And the film, let's just say this is the math. And there's a special film that gets warm or hot and it meters the amount of air that goes across this film. Well, the odd thing is, is when these mass airflow sensors go bad, they actually create the engine to run rich. And you may say, well, if it gets coated with dirt, how can it see more air? Well, what it does is that dirt acts like a little radiator and it cools off even more until you get to a certain RPM and it can't operate properly so it starts going the other direction and it gets lean. In the earlier cars, the, two, uh, the 97 Boxster and 99 911 through um, 04 on both of those or 05 and later meaning uh, the 997s, the earlier cars have TRA at idle and the later cars have RCAT at idle. So when you go into the fuel trim system, you'll see those two acronyms or initialisms in this case, because we don't say, I mean, we say RCAT, uh, but we don't say TRA. So initialism and acronym, when you go in and you look, you'll look at what that value is. There's certain proper values. Now, let me explain. There is a calculated value and there's a raw data. And when you test a sensor, you want to make sure your best bet is going to be raw data. On a mass airflow sensor, we want to check voltage. And on, uh, in, we can look at calculated, it's the easiest, but it's not the best. So the best to check a mass airflow sensor is voltage, meaning it's raw, it's what it sees, or you can go into the computer in another area and look at calculated. So when checking the math, we can do this two ways. We can do it through raw data, meaning voltage, the feedback, or, or what it's reading, or we can go in and we can look at calculated data, meaning kilograms per hour. So let me show you what I've done. I have a lab, I have a scan tool hooked up, not a lab scope, but a scan tool. And I wanna show you what it looks like. So here we have raw data, meaning that's the mass airflow sensor reading. And we have kilograms per hour, the calculated. It won't give you the calculated until it's running to see air coming across. There's a bulletin from Porsche, a technical service bulletin, that says if this engine off key on voltage is more than 1.1 volts, replace the mass airflow sensor automatically. So what we like to do is run the engine and look at that kilograms per hour. And on the Boxster, it's gonna be a little bit less. It's a smaller engine. And on the 911 or 996, 997, it's gonna be a little more. Usually on a Boxster, it can be 15 to 18 kilograms per hour with it running. On the 911, 996, 997, it's usually around 17 to 19, 17 to 20 kilograms per hour. So I'm not telling you if it's not in that range, it's bad. I'm giving you rough empirical data. And I just want you to see how you can check something from its raw data or its calculated data.